Right, let's kick this shit. You hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle. It's been a long year. It's been a hard year. It's been a big, giant, throbbing year. It's been 2023, and this is straight down the middle with a year in review. Zach and Greg were straight down the middle. We're, what are we going to do today, Greg? We are doing a year in review. Are we? What year in review are we going to do? 1979. <laughs> no, 2020. Not to be confused with a rear end review. A rear end review. We can do pretty good on that. Oh, yeah. That's a B plus ass. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> that ass talking to me. That's an A minus. I don't know. I feel like that list would be a lot of A's. That ass just falls. It's C minus ass right there. Have <laughs> you ever seen those big asses that like you think it'd be nice, but it's just a big it's old too ass? Big. It's just it falls into well, the Well, it's, it's because it's just like fake. Like, right. Some of them are they're fake. They're fake. You, you know who got a nice ass? Your brother. Do that. Brother got a nice ass. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> uh, we get to review uh, everything that came out uh, that made us happy or that made us question yeah. uh, or made us sad in 2023. Yeah. A few things made me cry. Did they? No, I don't oh. think so. I love pinball. Uh, what we had at the end of like, what was it, 2022, uh -huh. they were coming out with Spooky's uh, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Scooby, Scooby-Doo, where mm -hmm. are you? Uh, we both bought one. We both really liked mm -hmm. that game. Yep. Um, I'm still getting into it. I haven't had a lot of time mm -hmm. to play uh, pinball this year, sadly. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, but I still love the looks of that game. I still love that they took a risk mm -hmm. on that game. Uh, and we won't get into it too much, mm -hmm. but it's worth mentioning that Scooby, Scooby Doo came out uh, kind of January ish, yep. end of December, January ish, mm -hmm. of, uh, to kick off 2023. Yes. Woo. Now, as we're going through these videos, Greg, I, I thought, why don't we? We, we always say we're going to we'll talk about the best and the worst uh -huh. of the year, and we'll, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. But why don't we stamp it? Why don't we do a stamp on it? You and okay. I have agreed on certain categories, whether award-worthy categories, yes. uh, that we can stamp as some of the best and worst of this year. Yes. And I think Scooby-Doo deserves a couple stamps. Okay. And that is mm. best theme ah! Boom. of 2023. We had a lot of themes. Mm -hmm. We had Elton John. Yes. We had Godfather. Yes. <laughs> we had Foo Fighters. Yeah. Scooby-Doo's best theme. How truly, about that? Truly, truly best theme. Yeah. And it's probably one of the best. Do we have theme integration on there? Well, yeah, but they didn't get that. But it's oh, good. It's, it's a, it, I would definitely consider. I would also consider art for Scooby-Doo. I would consider art for Scooby-Doo. Oh, it's beautiful. 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 It really is. But it didn't get art either. Yeah. But what it did get is best toys. Overall yeah. best toys. You got moldings. You got Scoobies yes. that are going up in a barrel. Yeah. You got the little bookcase. The mystery machine that lights up. I yeah. still love that Captain upper playfield. Cutler that's with the cool, magnets yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that's a cool upper yes. playfield. Oh, and the ball locks. The wire cords. I still look the at those ball, ball locks yes. on the, the, the bat ball lock. The uh, mystery machine mm -hmm. that holds balls physically. Yes. Like there are so much cool toys in that game. You know what? I, I, Period. I don't like it. It really encompasses a lot of. Oh, okay. It doesn't really miss. Just a holistically. Just a holistic. Yeah, like, checks like all you said, like what you were just naming, like art. Uh, it didn't get art, but I'd yeah. say it, like it, theme integration. Yeah. It's got that, like, like Scooby kind of has yeah, like yeah, the, the animations are cool. Yeah. It may not be the best of the year, but my second or third. Yeah, that's the, what I'm saying. Uh, but it encompasses maybe more than a lot of pin. It's, again, it's not the best. It's but one it of the best all around. All, games of yes, the year. best all around. Okay. Close. Yes. Okay, I could I could argue mm -hmm. that. I could argue mm -hmm. that. Let's move on though. We had Stern Pinball. They released the cornerstone of James Bond by yes. George Gomez earlier in 2022, but at the end of 2022, into 2023, mm -hmm. Keith Elwood Ooh. was at the helm of the special edition, which was the James Bond yes. 60th anniversary. Yes. Single level. Yes. Big old cost. Yes. It was multiple, multiple payments. That was the only mm. thing I heard negative about that game. Everybody that plays that game yeah. loves it. They love it. The shots are fantastic. Oh, it shoots it's so smooth. good. It's smooth. It feels amazing. It's awesome. It is a great game. It's expensive. It is expensive. It came with a but topper that I could argue is maybe the greatest topper of the year. Didn't get it with us. Mm. But that topper was so. Uh, it is cool. It, with the LED lights and when yeah. you hit the spinner, like that mm -hmm. thing was 
Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Yeah. I underrated. Like Very underrated topper. Mm -hmm. uh, like heaviest you, topper. Loved it. Heaviest topper that uh, we've been shipping. But uh, that was a fun game. Yeah. It was a really fun game. I like People it. were bummed out. It didn't have animation or it didn't have a lot of the cuts. No cuts from the movie. Yeah, and it would have it been fine. But honestly, when you play it, it's such an enjoyable game. You don't miss it. It's one of Stern's you don't best miss it. multiplayer games of all time. True. True. Of all time. It's like a pissed off Beatles. That's what we called it. A pissed yeah. off Beatles. I think it's way better than Beatles. Then... The next game that came mm -hmm. out was in the first, like, March, Marchy? Uh, Marchy, everything came out. Remember mm -hmm. all the big old, all the manufacturers like, we got a game, we got a game, yes. we got a game. We'll Spring start with Stern, Stern Pinball. Mm -hmm. Expectations for Foo Fighters were low. Yeah. They really were. Yep. People heard Foo Fighters, they thought, yep. I like the music, but eh. Yes. And then they showed the game. Mm -hmm. This is Jack Danger's first designed game. Yes. And then it was uh, Taniel Kleiss and team yes. on code. Mm -hmm. And everybody was anticipating that from Deadpool. Yeah. We love Deadpool love code. Deadpool. Right? So what are we going to get in Foo Fighters? Yeah. Then we saw the theme that they were going with mm -hmm. was like this uh, alien abduction, hand illustrated art by Zombie yeah. Yeti. Really Holy cool shit. Mm -hmm. This game is a hit. Yes. It became a hit overnight. Yes. That was a big hit. Mm -hmm. um, what I can say about Foo Fighters was that if we're stamping stuff, mm -hmm. I would stamp it with the greatest shooting game of the year. This is the best shoot. I could see that. It is. Like, this mm -hmm. game, I've, I've said it on podcasts and everything, this game almost shoots too well. Yeah. That, that's an insane It thing. almost yeah. shoots too well. I don't have a lot of time on it, but what I have played of it, it took me by surprise about how smooth oh all the shots God. are and how many shots. It's not like a smooth shooting game where, where you've got like, you know, a realistic, like four major shots. Sure. This has a ton of shots yep. everywhere, and every single one of them is smooth. Like the yes. geometry is so And it's nice. not just a fan layout. No. So no, it, it's very it's unique. It's unique paths yes. and stuff like that. Even yep. the premium LE with that upper play field worked. Yeah. Uh, the right ramp is kind of steep, yep. but to get it to the other play field worked, the upper play field's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, that game see, yeah. is fucking dynamite. That is, is a really that good. is a great game. It is. Uh, the reason I said it almost shoots too well is because there are times when I'm playing it and I'm like a little I'm too easy. Too in a way. good. Yes. Like, yeah. what is going on? It yeah. could be even the dead post. That's a cool feature that mm -hmm. bump. I can see that. That's a winner of a game. Yes. So much so that we're stamping it with definitely best design layout shooter. Uh, also, best rules. I think mm -hmm. it's kind of Deadpool ish where yeah. it is accessible. Going to, to the cities. Everybody. It is. It's full. Uh, yeah. There's no glaring holes. It's not glitchy. Mm -hmm. It is solid code. Yeah. Uh, and not it's wrong. full. And it's hard to get to the very end. But it's it's manageable if you really mm -hmm. work hard to get there, and all around it's the best selling yeah. game of the year. Oh, wow! Think of a different one. Think nice. about it. What's a better sell? Now I would argue that Godzilla still probably sold. That's what I was. But for what came out what in twenty twenty three, yeah. Oh I yeah. I think it was the best seller. I can see that. I'd have to yeah. go back and do the numbers, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much so. So very approachable game. So Stern Pinball. Killing it once again in 2020. Great job, Stan. And then uh, P3 came out with Final Resistance. Yep. Scott Denisi yep. jumped over. I heard good stuff. Board. I haven't got to get my hands on it, but I heard it's good fun. stuff. It's fun. I heard It's a fun stuff. game. It's uh, easily their, their best game. It's brutal. Um, it still has the limitations of the P3 system. Mm -hmm. I think that... Um, I like brutal. I like brutal, too. Uh, but I'm just still not sold on P3, the mm -hmm. multimorphic P3 system. Uh, there's things I just don't like about it. It feels really dated to me at this point, that operating system, and it shouldn't. It's supposed to be the future techno mm -hmm. te technological piece. It's been around uh, for a while now, though. It's been around for a long time. It hasn't got any upgrades, really. Mm -hmm. So um, I think Final Resistance would be even better in a regular on a regular wood play field, yeah. a regular cabinet, regular flippers. I still like the thought. I still don't mind the flipper. I still like the thought of it. I just, I just need better better animation. I need more going on. Then JJP comes along yeah. uh, and they released the Godfather. Godfather. Now we teased that in our predictions episode and we yeah. said, really? Yeah. Godfather? Now it was totally Godfather. Yeah. When it came out, there was no question. Undeniably, straight up Godfather. Yes. It was everything Godfather yes. was. Uh, with even extra fun stuff. Yeah. The rules were awesome on it. The layout was awesome yeah. on it. It hit a lot of the check boxes. People love, like everybody that's bought People one that it. I've talked to, they love it. They love the depth of that board. code. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they love the shots on there. Eric tried a couple new things. I like the mechs. And that's what I'm saying, features. mech wise. 
Captive uh, ball yep. locks. The way coming out of those wire forms, the way that he adjusted the power to go to different things. Like he did a lot of really cool stuff that like I would like to see moving forward. Oh yeah. Um, it was beautiful. Oh, it was gorgeous. It was gaudy. Gorgeous. I loved how beautifully gaudy it was. But that's that's what that yeah. was. Gaudy like, gold. Yeah. I love it. Like I did too. I love the only thing again that threw me like I would have liked a more realistic sculpt for the gangster. I didn't like the yeah, incorporation you, you of like doing like, more of a cartoony them. guy. But dude, every, everybody's talked great about that pen. It was received very well. Yeah, it was. It really was. S sales weren't bad. Yeah. Sales weren't fantastic like GNR though. But again, it's one of those things like uh, you go into, it's still Godfather. It's Not still a lot Godfather. of people clamoring for mm. theme wise. It still hindered it a little bit, but it was a good game. It was, it was a good really game. good game. Really good solid game. It was. A lot of people say also it's, it's tough because they got rid of the standard model at JJP. So the entry level was $12,000 to yeah. get into. It's still that's a ton pretty of money. High. And then it the is. CE was $15,000. Yeah. That's pretty high. So you got a theme that is, people are not begging for this theme. Yeah. And people are not begging for this price. Yes. That's, that's the It result. hurts it. No matter how good the game yep. is. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, I think we stamp on that. We still give JP Ford to win mm -hmm. uh, the, the stamp yes. for best animations and display. That's some of the best work he's done. I, look, still, we, I'm blown away by that freaking yes. the, the mosaic, like it's that stained glass. Beautiful. It is so Even the renditions great. of like the company workers that were the yes. gangsters and stuff. It's beautiful. The cut yeah. sequences are beautiful. Uh, we talked about uh, Foo Fighters really made a push this year with animations. That yeah. was beautiful. It was. It's it's the level of detail. Though. Foo, Foo Fighters was amazing. Like it was very good, but JP's it, it's just yeah. so different. It's more elegant. It's, it's more yeah. of this. It's, I, it's so hard. They're yeah. very. They're both very it's well refined. Done. It's yes. just yeah. So well He's done. He's just a hard guy to beat. So yeah, they they're, they're taking home a best of from straight down the middle this year. Then we had play mechanics. Oh. They make they make arcade they it's for all thrills they mm -hmm. make arcade stuff but wow did they knock something out they have mark gritchy making arcade yeah. games so he came back with yeah. the help of josh sharp yep. uh george petro yep. who was a coder for bally williams in the past yep. uh with you know working with mark Ritchie, and they create pulp fiction yes oh boy yep pulp fiction yep. and they create a old retro throwback yes. which Quentin Tarantino required and demanded mm -hmm. if they were going to make a Pulp Fiction yep. pinball machine and this thing still hasn't been made but still is probably the most sought yes. after product yep. pre-order uh, in the industry and it's so crazy because you know when we wow. first heard this mm -hmm. we were like man like how how is that going to go over like what is going they're doing a, like a single level game there's going to be no kind no animations at all no there's going to be as a nothing numeric yeah there's going to be nothing like how is this going to go over yeah. and then we go there and we work on that and we film it we did the feature and do the feature that, yeah. for them and we're like Oh, this is shit. This thing is a work of art. This is one of the coolest pinball it machines ever. It is cool as hell. And then you're still, oh. though, even leaving there, you know, we were like, how is this going to be received? Because we, we knew we were sold on it. We got to play it. We yes. got to see it. We spent the day with it. We were all over We heard thing. the call outs. We heard the music. Yes. It was explained the to us. The topper. Yeah, in absolute detail. But how is this going to go over? But it it went over the, with everyone the way it did us. Sma well, yeah, you see the difference though. Uh, then if we're comparing to Godfather, better theme, more people want that theme. Yeah. Stylistically cooler yes. game, and the price. Yeah, significant. They underpriced yeah. the thing at like ninety yeah. five hundred bucks for an LE yeah. with the topper. That topper's amazing. Insane. Yep. And then the entry level the eight thousand dollars. Doug did a great job on that topper. We, it's just got to be built. Yeah. That is a mm -hmm. that is a home run oh. of a game. That for me is in contention with Foo Fighters thus far for the best game of 2023. It really is. But uh, for right now, we'll stamp it with a couple mm -hmm. of accolades, including best topper. Is there, an, is there a better topper? Labyrinth no. topper was close. No. Labyrinth topper is close. This topper is damn cool. It's so cool with the it's, cars. And the twist the and they're yeah. dancing. It's, it's a cool topper. It's the best topper. Mm -hmm. It is the greatest topper. Honestly, all your spots, I, did, I was on the fence about buying one, and I didn't get in on that LE. <laughs> Just, yeah, you, you made a mistake. I did. You made a mistake. I really did. But your best friend's a dealer, so maybe, we, maybe we'll figure something out. But, we'll find one. But uh, 
Yeah, you made a mistake on that. Also, uh, getting awarded by Straight Down the Middle, Pulp Fiction is going to receive best call-outs. I mean, yeah, come easily. On, come on. Easily. Wow. Easily. Bernard can. Like, it has the greatest yes. fucking Royale with cheese. Yeah. It's got, does he look like a bitch? <laughs> it's got everything in there. Yeah, uh, it's so good. This, and the, the accolades keep coming. Man. We gave it the best sound and music, too. Yeah. David Thiel coming yeah. back. He was he was did a great job. Imprisoned by Deep Root. Yeah. He couldn't get out and create. He comes yeah. out and they get what it, probably cost more money to license the five music tracks in there yes. than even the license of Pulp Fiction alone. Yeah. And it's all But it's in worth there. it. You gotta have it. Oh, you it's, have oh, to the, have it. The jungle bouquet oh, so with good. the Yes. <laughs> the briefcase. They got the gimp in there. Man, they got everything. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. It deserves every one of those. It deserves I'm telling you. <laughs> It's hard. No. It's hard to argue against that as best game of the year. But great, we can't just be positive. We have that. We talked about having the worst of it. Can't be you know, butterflies mm -hmm. and rainbows and puppy furs. It's got to be the worst. One of the worst things in 2023 was the delays from Chicago Gaming Company. We, ah. I mean, we talked about it, but we yeah. hit it even harder now. Yeah. Like, there's there's delays, and then there's I'm I love the guys there, but then there's CGC delays. Yeah. I even think probably play mechanics at this point is like, hmm. what the now. Think about it. We filmed for that featurette it was in the fall yeah. of 2022. Yeah, it was a long time. They had been making mm -hmm. that game for like four years, which is fine because mm -hmm. they didn't announce it. Yeah. But they even said, you know what? We're going to let them catch up to Cactus Canyon. We're going to yeah. wait to announce this in March. Hopefully yeah. they're caught up. Here we are almost a year yeah. later, and they're still making Cactus ah, Canyons. Love to see that. Do you think soon. this makes play mechanics a little bit hesitant to, to even dive into making a pinball machine Again or with CGC again? I would think. Mm -hmm. How do? How does it not? Yeah, but they build good games. Okay. They build such a solid game. Okay. I know. I know. Delay sucks. At suck. some Delay point, suck. you have to think to yourself: maybe we cut back yeah. a little bit on whatever it's taking us so long to do. Yeah, it might be one of those things. Exactly. Like maybe I'd rather repair a part. Maybe you later. refine it and say, "Hey, Damn. we're we're limiting stuff a little more." Uh, just from a production standpoint, but man, they build such a solid game, and I, I think Play Mechanics is going to roll off of this. Uh, hopefully, they roll off of this with something else that that's really great, mm -hmm. and they're already working on something after the success of this game. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know. That's one. Of I the, see what you're saying. One of the worst this year is yeah. their delays. Yeah, it's just, I agree. Nobody likes delays. That's rough because we don't even know what they'd come out with next year or yeah. this 2024. Yeah, because it's going to take so long. Yeah, yeah. more delays. Yeah. We've discussed that before. <sighs> hmm. Where's the code for Cactus Canyon? I mean, come on. There. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's talk about happier things, American Pinball. They then came out with Galactic Tank Force. What you like. An original theme. Look, yeah. I like the game. Yeah. I selfishly, for some reason, I like this game. I own this game. Yeah. I it, heard people it like it. It works for me. Yeah. It worked for no one else. <laughs> like, No, I mean, no. I've still heard some good stuff. People still like shooting it. Sure. The people who own it. The Nobody, people who took a chance. Nobody's buying it. No, but that's what I'm saying. The people that took a chance. They like it. They like it. They like it. They like it. They like that corniness, that goofiness. I think what happened was... It was a risk. If we're talking about uh, accolades, it was one of the worst launches. Happen? They had a really bad launch. They yeah. kept teasing people for too long. There was a peak of, like... Interest. interest yeah and then they kept teasing kept teasing we just kept yeah coming. and then once they came out with it kind of a higher price it looked yep. like a tank um it hit the corny level for some people in the wrong way mm -hmm. they didn't see it as a good campy yes. they seen it as like a porn campy kind of thing yeah they weren't really into it mm. and then uh they didn't like like a single was, ramp kind of like they just they yeah. man i think the game's loaded it's yeah. got magnet use that i love I they didn't like cool it came out with air balls uh code was kind of flaked. Yeah. It, so it but again it's one of those hard things when you go original theme like uh -huh. I, I thought it was a i thought though that it was a i thought it was a very good i thought what to do an original theme they tried something new mm -hmm. and i kind of like that i like where they went with sure. it about kind of creating all their own video assets and yeah. doing all this stuff. I mean, is this what it kind of takes that's a now? Lot of video assets. It is. Yeah. It's a lot of fun stuff to make, and I, I, I don't know. I kind of champion them in the direction they went. Yeah. I just, it's still an original yeah. theme. It's still tough. To it's still hire, a tough thing. To hire good enough actors that are going to be able to do great. Like mm. one of the actors, it comes across as campy, but in the wrong way. And this is an example. You can see them reading the cue cards above the lens. 
But maybe they're it's, not maybe it's part of the that. game. Are you sure? No. There's nobody that's that deep into the rabbit hole meta-wise. No, no, no. Oh. All the puns, the milk puns. It's so weird because you love that game. I do like it. <laughs> it's so bad. I do like Every it. Time I love the me. looks of it. I uh, like oh, it. I love the way it looks. It's oh, gorgeous. It's, it's a meat pen. Uh, so it much so out. that we are stamping it. So it had one of the worst launches. You know what? Let's throw another worst. It had one of the worst additions that came out. This whole money grab the oh, signature. That was a little it was rough. It like 25, that, it was a lenticular yeah. back glass for six grand more yeah. and a thermos, a lunch box. Yeah, you gotta be a little careful with that. No, and I remember when it was coming out, I was like, guys, no, this isn't yeah. gonna work. Don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, they if did. you had a license theme that was super strong, didn't sell. You could maybe get away with They're that. They're still trying to push this thing. Yeah. It's not selling. Yeah, uh, I like my LE. It folds down, it looks like a tank. It's awesome, it's got the track. It is super cool. That's what I'm saying. But it does deserve a best. Yeah. A best of the whole industry of last year, and believe it or not, one of the most sought after categories in my opinion. Uh oh. It receives from straight down the middle the best artwork. The artwork mm -hmm. is fantastic. That's Christopher Franchi taking an original artwork mm -hmm. piece, and that's the beauty of that game. Yeah. It is the beauty. It is gorgeous. Artistically, even those tracks are artistic. Yeah. Even the shape of the head is artistic. Well, the design. Again, if, if you take it's, even it's the, the folding of it into a, a that's an, a it's piece still of art. art. It's a piece it's of art. It's still part of the cat. It's still art. The lay itself, of so. like the uh, the playfield yeah. art is gorgeous. The it plastics is. are pretty. Mm -hmm. Everything on that game is. It looks yes. like it's old. 50s space, yes. even the colors of uh, like a cyan. And it's just not in your face. Rust, it's not all blown out. Rust kind it's of just stuff. not, yes. it's not too over the top. So it Christopher Franchi to for best art mm. from straight down the middle this year. He's done some artwork mm -hmm. this year in Godfather. Mm -hmm. I think this is bet. This is more unique. This is better. I, it I, just, I won't better. say that I don't disagree. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, so best artwork, even nice. over Zombie Yeti. He did Venom we'll talk about. Zombie Yeti did Foo Fighters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Foo Fighters was good. Galactic Tank Force is still what stands out mm -hmm. on that game. It's Foo really Fighters good. is a tough, it's a runner. It's, I think Venom, it's hard to argue against Venom too. Oh, Venom like was that's, beautiful. That's his wheelhouse. Venom was beautiful. His wheelhouse. He did great. Rush accessories were then released finally. Yeah. That was on a cruise ship. So we yeah. got to see the topper. That was a cool topper. Topper is nice. It with is the spinning cool. gears like and the stuff. Then Godzilla topper came out yeah. in 2023. Pretty cool. Not Everybody super wild about it. I made a video yeah. and everybody wanted to buy it. Yeah. I mean, little, it's neat. The little shadow, the, the yeah. plume. Oh, the shadow is cool. Yeah, the yeah, RGB plume. Cool. Yeah. That was cool. They're like, $1,000, nice. you're crazy. Yeah. We've sold more of that topper than probably any topper we've sold in our I like it. It's okay. It's not. It doesn't blow me away, but toppers aren't. Oh, actually, I say that, but toppers. <laughs> He's got toppers in all of his games. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every one of them. Every one of them. <laughs> Haggis then releases Centaur. Revisited. Yeah. Yeah. Centaur revisited. That was a, and that's been a really yeah. good seller too. I think people just like classic stuff. Yeah. And Fathom Mermaid Edition with the mm -hmm. 2.0 code sold everybody. Yeah. They love the new yeah. code on that. So they're looking forward to Centaur. Fathom's a super amazingly beautiful game, oh, but God, I think is. Centaur is is striking in its own right. And then if they have those little touches and they, they do will. everything with Centaur, that's going to be an amazingly beautiful game too. And it, they decided it's to be. drop the classic edition, mm -hmm. keep the, the mm -hmm. big LE edition, they call the Beast yes. edition. But then they also added a model that's a very rare, it's only, they only make like 25 or 50, mm -hmm. or Oblivion, that's even, it can do black and white play, yes. or color play field. They got a big top, mm -hmm. all kind. you get a leather jacket. Yeah. Some cool stuff there. Yeah. So uh, Haggis came out big this year, but they didn't make too big of a splash. They didn't want to, uh, don't pay too much attention. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna keep our nose to the grindstone. Yes. We're gonna do what we do. Make uh, games. And they're catching up. So mm -hmm. yeah. things are going, things are going really well. Great. Then we had, speaking of Haggis, Flipping Out Pinball Company became mm -hmm. the exclusive US dealer. Congratulations. Wow. yay, woohoo. <laughs> buy, buy yourself a Haggis pinball machine. They do make uh, good, it, they're solid games. They are solid. And then, Greg becomes an operator. So you became an operator this year. I did. 2023. It's exciting. How's that going? It's going good. You like it? Yeah, I like it so far. You're running like tournaments and mm -hmm. shit and giving away like uh, prizes? prizes? Yeah, yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it's it. Good. It's and fun. You, uh, your own LLC, Bonehead Amusements? Yeah, like, like what? I get, what? Uh, I, I feel With so. With an awesome uh, logo? Yeah, uh, logo's fun. It's good. Uh, I, yeah, I like, I like a great it. name. I, I like getting back to like my friends and people that I like. I know, you're a roots guy, man. Yeah, and like that that guy. brings me back to like, it honestly makes me feel like when I first got into pinball. Yeah, you're at Zanzibar, you're yeah. eating So yeah. I love it. I go there and I'll just sit there Greasy and have a beer and burger. look at my own pins. That's right. <laughs> there's nothing better. No, there's really, I mean, it's just like in the basement. I, I knew you'd be an operator somewhere. Like you yeah. just seem like, yeah, the I roots. Like it. Yeah. The roots and the heart of the yeah. industry and the community yeah. and the hobby. 
You're an operator. Yeah. I mean, it's got its yeah. thing, but I mean, I, I enjoy the hell out of well, it. Some it's exciting great. stuff in 2024. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh bigger, always. better bone. Always. Oh, man. Chrome it, brass it, black nickel it, candy chrome it, powder coat it. The possibilities are endless at pinballplating.com. Your pinball machine deserves the best. At Comet Pinball, you'll find the best variety of LED products with the best quality LEDs, and most importantly, at the best price. Your collection is begging for an upgrade. Order yours now at CometPinball.com. We started seeing some market fluctuations over the last year or so. Mm -hmm. All right, the height of the COVID, we were up and then yeah. it came down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would say one of the the deepest trenches of the market happened kind of in the summer of 2023. Yeah. Right before Venom came out. Yeah. All right, it, we, mm -hmm. uh, stuff started to really go downhill. Mm -hmm. We And because not only just general market stuff, mm -hmm. we had all these new games coming out. Mm -hmm. So people were vying and fighting for, mm -hmm. for products and dollars and uh, that's going to affect anything coming after and secondary market of people trying mm -hmm. to sell stuff. So we've seen a pretty big dip in the market mm -hmm. in 2023. Uh, it was the season of catching up yes. that was 2023. In parts, Stern was able to catch up. Yes. Uh, no dealers really have back orders now. Yeah. We have plenty of inventory now. Yes. So uh, supply chain issues have, mm -hmm. have loosened mm -hmm. and Stern's in a new building. They're cranking out games. Everybody's mm -hmm. able to crank out games. Uh, but right before Venom yep. comes out, we see this dip, which did affect the release and I think the sales thus far of yeah. Venom by Stern Pinball, which was next. Yes. Uh, that was a Brian Eddy game with Dwight Sullivan, yep. our friends over there at Stern. Uh, and sales sales weren't bad. Yeah. They, it wasn't out of the ballpark. They part. weren't the typical yeah. Stern sales. Yep. And I always argued it wasn't just it wasn't the Venom. No. It was it was the situation. And I'm still Almost hoping that that game comes back because it's, it's still you a love fun that game. game. I, I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, and it, 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 we got one on location. That it's I, we, that's only one that. I go play there. Oh wow! Um, okay. Is that one? And I just I don't know, man. I really like what they did with the Insider Connected. I oh, like leveling yeah. up. I like I like the the team uh, aspect of it, to where that you can work together to yeah. to beat you know the different characters. Like it's not a mode based. It's a no, different. No, it's of very game. different. And and once Even you with the speed lines, yeah. Once like you wrap your mind around, like fast it's a game. it's a neat ass game. It's got a lot of really unique, cool stuff going for it mm -hmm. that that no other games do. Yeah. So like, yeah, man, I like it a lot. Venom wasn't like the theme that's going to scream something like a Harry Potter or a Jaws or anything like no. that. No. But it's still, but it's still popular. Theme. It's still yeah. strong. Still theme. popular. Uh, so much so, one of the highlights mm -hmm. that Venom had is going to get, uh, you know, a nod from us mm -hmm. in the best of 2023, and that was innovation. Yeah. It brought a different way to experience and play pinball. Yes. It really did. Yes. Especially with their new Insider Connected yeah. uh, you yeah. know, you, system. Yeah. You take the mechs that changed the game. Literally change the yep. game. Incorporate that with the insider connected. The leveling up. Yes. The unlocking characters. Yes. The the, the going from uh, my username from home and I can go to I can go to your operation. Yep. Plug it in and Carries I'm still over. carrying over. Yep. Yep. I'm trying to defeat null at the end and yep. I'm. That's XP. It's, it's, it's XP. Cool. Yep. It is the closest to gaming that we've ever seen in pinball, yes. and it is a step I think probably and in it the is right fun. direction. I do too. I like it a lot. So, I want to see it go on. on so there's. Some other stuff. I don't think these people could argue that that had easily the most innovation mm -hmm. of this year. Yes. Wow. Okay. And then the newcomer hits us over the head, comes out of nowhere, barrels of fun. Oh yeah. That's a barrel of a name. Yeah. Cool kids just call it barrels. Mm -hmm. no. Barrels. Uh, they just barrels. call it barrels. They started teasing things as Mystery Pinball Company. Mm -hmm. It kind of annoyed people, and they were like, "What? Like another new yeah. company? Startup? Gonna what's going to happen? Exactly." But then we started hearing who was involved in this company. Yes. Some big David names. David Van Ness. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, Bone Karen. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, I know Bone Karen. Mm -hmm. Eric Pripke. Yeah, I love freaking Morty. Wait yeah. a minute. Scott Denisi. Yep. Holy shit! We had a dream team yep. here, and then all of a sudden. They checked every mm -hmm. launch day box that yep. they could. They showed the game. Yep. They showed it in its entirety. They killed the design, the layout, yes. the theme immersion. They had toys everywhere. Only one model, they break through with their own type of uh, system where they're saying one model, fully loaded. Yes. You can buy some accessories, but this thing is fully loaded. It is an LE, a really good yep. price. 
uh, and they they blew it up, and they had games yep. at Expo yep. in boxes ready to go. And when people played it, people wow. loved it. Solid game. Solid, Solid game. game. They didn't take the the glass out of the Expo games. They brought twelve games. Yep. Didn't take them out, yep. but just a, a couple ball traps. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's insane. Like that. Pe people yes. were so surprised. So this is the the biggest surprise yes. of this year uh, that we're saying. Mm -hmm. Biggest surprise of this year. Uh, it also received. Easily, easily, best theme integration. Mm -hmm. We were talking about Scooby Doo and stuff, and that makes a good that makes a good argument. Yes, but there is no world under glass it's like this David Bowie impressive. labyrinth. Yeah. It looks like a little town. Like it's a, insanely like impressive. Things are moving. The worms popping yes. up. The fireies are coming out. They're yes. they're they're cute. They're charming. Then mm -hmm. you got Ludo lifting the building. He's under there. It's got magnets. It's got diverters. This thing is insane. It is good. And it's fucking selling phenomenally. <laughs> phenomenally. This That's thing cool. is still selling. Yeah. I guarantee you today I'll get a sale of Labyrinth. That's awesome. Unbelievable. I would never thought it went over that well, but. We're gonna have to go down there to Houston. Solid They're game. based out of Houston. Yeah, we'll go visit trip. Barrels? I love Texas. Let's go visit Barrels. Texas. Maybe we do a feature in. Maybe, well, yeah. No, meh, meh. And then Stern said, look guys, we like selling games too. You guys mm -hmm. like black and white Elvira? Here's the blood red kiss mm -hmm. edition. Gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Now, a little controversy there. Because yeah. people thought, wow. I just bought a 40th anniversary mm -hmm. for 20 something thousand dollars. Yeah. Why am I buying this? And now this is this is only 13,000? Yeah, I'm on this the fence. This is black and white. Like this has got glitter red yeah. throughout uh, the whole it, thing. It is a pretty This game. is gorgeous. It's got yeah. the dagger. The bejeweled dagger. Go watch the video that we have here on Straight Down the Middle where I showcased an yeah. unboxing. Uh, and, and a lot of people are getting rid of their premiums to get this version. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've seen that. yeah. And, and Greg says, you know, at times uh, Elvira's House of Horrors is not the easiest stern to to do <laughs> to do work on. Uh, you know, but uh, <laughs> yes. other than that, it is gorgeous. Yes. And it's a fun game. Yes. And it's sold a lot better than I thought it would. Yes. I didn't think it would sell that great. I'm like, do we really need another Elvira? We just had 40. Yeah, I was kind of mixed on it. It sold Whether really. It, it did. Really. I think I might have sold more Ellie's of this than Venom. Oh, and it, and it, was, it was only 500 units yeah. sold. Mm -hmm. I, I sold, can see that. I sold a lot of that. Uh, Pinball Brothers said, we might not have a game, guys, but we still have Alien. Yeah. And you guys have been wanting Sigourney Weaver. You've been wanting Ripley to come back. So you know yeah. what? We paid the money. Yeah. We not only got her back on the cabinet artwork, we got her back in assets. Yes. We have clips now, yep. audio clips, video clips yep. of Sigourney Weaver. Yep. That's what everybody wanted. I, I think that that really, uh, that pulled a lot of people in that, initially didn't want the game yeah but it gave them what they wanted and now they're in it was uh plus they come out with this ripley edition yeah. and i would say this is a tie for best of bang of the buck for mm -hmm. 7995 oh, yeah. yeah. under eight thousand dollars because i own that game. and that lb was beautiful this and pulp fiction le but was I, like, I like this yeah. it's hard not to buy these it's for an the value. insanely cool looking game wow mm -hmm. absolutely uh jjp Says we're not done either. Mm -hmm. the, we got two games out in a year. We've yeah. always wanted to do that. We nice. got two games out in a year. They kind of did yes. that the year before, but even more so this year. Godfather. Yep. Truly and here's, out. Here's Steve Ritchie with Elton John. Yeah, yep. that's Elton exciting. The, what a dazzler yep. of a game. I was happy for them. To shoots get all like that a dream. Out. You have not. You. I haven't got to play it. You haven't got to play no. it. No, but I've heard. I've heard it shoots oh. great. I should have brought one over. Yeah, Should've. but I mean, it's Steve. Did it's you expect? Steve. Did you really expect anything? Plus, it's like one of the most colorful, loudest. Flamboyant, it really is. beautiful pinball machines of all time. It does. You walk that. up to this thing, and it looks like a what do they call it? A Sparsky crystal. Like it looks like oh. it's just glittering. Oh my god! And they got laser <sighs> toppers and stuff like. <laughs> it's so damn cool. Uh, but it's Elton John. Yeah. Eh, I like his music. It's kind of yeah. like we were talking about in the other video. If you haven't seen the, the sneak peek in 2024, like Journey. Yeah. I like their music. Yeah. I need the pinball Love Journey. machine. But yeah. yeah. There's certain games that I just don't really care if it's a pinball machine or not. Maybe they should throw a Keanu on it. <laughs> I'd like it. Elton John and Keanu. <laughs> it shoots like a dream. I probably will own one at some point just because it shoots. So it's good. butter. Yeah. It's butter. What else in 2023? We did have, oh, I gotta give, we gotta get a best of. Uh, Elton John gets the best of lighting. Best of lighting. Oh, yeah, I heard that. That thing is a show. spectacle. Oh, but when's JJP not killed? Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Stranger Things gets another run. Yeah. I think Stern nice. knows how to deal with the market. When the market's going down, mm -hmm. they'll say, fine, we'll, we'll just keep giving them what they've been asking yeah. for. And that was, we didn't have enough Stranger Things. Yeah. So they brought back the pro and the premium. Mm -hmm. 
which have sold probably better than most cornerstones. Yeah. The damn thing is selling great. Well, it was such a it was such a small run to begin with mm -hmm. because it got it got crapped on so hard uh, when it came out and then they were just like, "Okay, we're done with producing these." And they were like, "Well, and we guess we'll move on." It was on the uptick mm -hmm. and then so then that's one of the secondary market because there wasn't a whole lot to be spoken for and then they pin game oh gained uh, you know, immense popularity. At least we're going for 20,000. Yeah. So, and now I mean it makes sense to re to rerun it up those lights and because you just smart. didn't produce a whole lot. Yeah, absolutely. One of my favorite games of all time. I love it. Uh, I won't get rid of mine. Love it. I love it. Uh, oh, but yeah, nice. they brought that back and people, people have been buying the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. Nice surprise. Really yep. nice surprise. Really stream. And the, the property's still hot. Yeah, it is. And it's going to be even hotter when the new season comes out. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get a code update for that kind of stuff. It would be nice. Uh, Stern Pinball uh, did the Insider Connected the previous year. It's been a phenomenal hit. It's mm -hmm. been huge for people, and it's only going to get bigger and better with uh, for operators, for homeowners, mm -hmm. homeowner leaderboards, playing against other people, downloadable yes. content. It's all coming. It's all going to be fantastic. Yes. Uh, but this year, it got even bigger with an app. It got its own app this year. Yes. Everybody was wanting an app. Make it to where I can just log in. I've got my QR code. Boom. Yes. It's an app. I don't want to have to log into the website on my phone. That sucks. Yes. They fixed it, and it's working very, very well. Good. You'll, you'll love it. A lot of, especially as an operator, you will love that. And one of the coolest things to see is the growth of spooky pinballs. Oh man, they uh, they're no boutique. No, they're no boutique. They they get probably the second best themes in the entire industry. Uh, here they come yes. again. They had Scooby Doo at the beginning of the year. They've made over fifteen hundred of those damn things, yes. and now they're ready within a year to launch their next yeah. game. Yeah. It's impressive of what they can crank out. Like and, they, yeah. They're taking me by surprise. And at the end of 2023 here, Greg, yeah. they announced Looney Tunes. Yeah. What a classic theme. Yeah. And Strong. the Texas Chainsaw Massacre right in yeah. their wheelhouse yeah. of horror. I love Texas Chainsaw. Oh. I, I don't think it's as strong. It's an odd thing because I think that Looney Tunes may be a little stronger theme than Texas. Mm -hmm. But man, they're cool games. <laughs> like They are cool games. And they just yeah. throw everything at that. And again, you're talking about price. You go back to the pricing. Like, for what you get yeah. in those games. The Stern Premium. And right. you get fully loaded with topper, powder, powder coat, coated, coin door, they, custom they armor. Loaded. Yeah, everything. It's that. It, Toys that move, interactive yes. features, magnets. Yeah. And this is unlike and this anything. This thing's got flow. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is unlike anything they've ever the made before. Best shooting game. Yeah, four ramps. Like, it's it's an insane. Yeah. It's got a lot going and we, on. And it is so late in the year at this announcement that mm -hmm. we haven't had time to dig in, dig in. No. Uh, but people are really liking these, yeah. and they're really liking uh, the the layout. Yeah. The people are ready yeah. for a fast, great yes. layout game from Spooky. A lot of repeatable shots. And I think Spooky, mm -hmm. if Spooky said, look, we can do it. Yep. Give us a chance. We can do it. People didn't think they could do it. They yep. proved it here. Yes. I think they proved it. Plus, here they are coming out with two games. Last time they did this, Halloween Ultraman. Same rules, same mm -hmm. layout, same stuff like that. This time, on these two games, you might want to own both because they have different coding teams. Yes. They're different coded it's games. It's two different. Different yes. inserts. Like, yep. they're different games altogether. Yep. Yep. That's Super interesting. Stuff. Uh, and as we talk about, our, so I'm I'm interested in getting ours here in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I can't wait to One of each. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you all kinds of stuff here straight in the middle. So. Yeah. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe <laughs> to that. But uh, one of the coolest things, uh, I don't know if they, they might have seen this. Spooky Pinball still have something up their sleeve before the end of the year. Uh, but one of the other cool things is that um, looking back at straight down the middle of 2023, we were able to produce uh, professional videos for, uh, we're still amateurs, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, professionals, you know. Well, in our own right. In our own right. Uh, we were able to work with three different manufacturers. Yes. We started with Jersey Jack Pinball's The Godfather. Yes. We got to go up there and see our friends, mm -hmm. uh, Eric Minier, yep. Ken Cromwell, yes. Keith Johnson, yes. Joe Cat. They were yep. the whole, the whole yeah. crew was up there. Marcy. They're like family Marcy. at this point. Absolutely. So we got to do, we got to do that. That was that was a lot of fun. It was. We improved a scene that you you really shot a nice scene for that featurette. Thank you. Uh, Thank with you. the the pallets and the warehouse and stuff. Thank you. That was our best backdrop for it a was featurette. Fun. Damn, you you're good at that. You're like a scene designer, yeah. a set designer. I'm running that production. Man, you're good at production yeah, stuff. Start equipment stuff. Throwing great. ideas. Throwing so we, ideas. So we were blessed to do that. Then we were blessed the fall before, but it didn't get released. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Yep. That was awesome to meet a new team. Yes. Uh, and Josh Fantastic and guys. Petro and Mark yep. Ritchie. That was fun. It was we a lot of fun. Those fun. guys were just pure fun. Amazingly That nice. felt like the most 
professional thing that we've done where we come in, mm -hmm. we had plenty of time to work it. Yes. We gave it our all. And I yep. think that's probably today, probably our best feature yeah, documentary it's my, that, one we, of my that we made. I agree. I yeah. agree. And then we got to work with Spooky, another yes. company we've not worked with yet. Yep. Not only for their featurettes, this is a big, it was an overhaul. Yes. We had two games to do, yep. two featurettes, uh, two sizzle reels, yes. trailers that we had to do. We had to crank You them drove up. all the way up there. I, I flew, ran in the car, drove another two hours to get to them. Yeah. But they're our friends, so we wanted oh, to be able to work yeah. with them. And they were so, like, their that hospitality. That was the most fun we had. It was. Like, we joked the entire time. Yeah. It was like it, friends just shooting some film. And it literally was. There was no pressure. Uh, it was just us hanging out. You know, we went back yeah. to, to Bug's house, and we ate some dinner. We did. Streamed. Yeah, streamed a little bit. They, and, they fully trusted us without. Yeah. We had yeah. that one worked with us. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. Luke grilled a steak in the office, but didn't bring us one. Smelled like a ribeye. So smelled like a ribeye, which made it worse. Yeah, like what are you trying to track, dudes? Like we, me and you. Were oh, like, I smelled was damn man. man for like, like two hours. He just right? smelled like a ribeye, which was amazing. Like, make but it into a cologne. amazing, amazing time. That that was one of my favorite. That was this has it been was uh, really good. These viewers might see like, man, they didn't have as many videos this year. Mm -hmm. But we worked probably harder this year yes. than we ever have. We did so Truly. much production work. And that's some of where our passion is. Yes. Sure, it is bullshitting around with you guys. Yeah. I love that. Uh, that's yeah. more fun than anything. But it gives us more sense of purpose at times yes. to be able to diversify and do all kinds of things. Yep. Uh, and the relationships we've made along the way. Some of the stuff that we've mm. already almost inked to do in yes. 2024. Uh, yeah. is fantastic. And we've just learned, like I had mentioned before and it got me fun. We, we learned a lot this oh, yeah. year and a lot of it was in some of our production stuff. So like, you know, I think in 2024, you're going to see a, yeah. some better, some better just, quality stuff. I was thinking about all the work. <laughs> and 90% um, it rests on his shoulders. And we so. will continue to work <laughs> on uh, our own feature film. Oh, sorry. Short story. Short film. What do you? Doing what short. bullshit? Doing feature short. film. Doing a short. Uh, yeah, we're gonna work on short. that. Short. It might not be too short. Short. Uh, what else is 2023? Well, the the rest of it. Like we yeah. haven't got Foo Fighters accessories. No, that sucks. Yeah. That's one of the worst things. When Stern Pinball has a game out for so long, we still get everybody gets accessories. pumped about those yeah. accessories. No accessories. Ah. For that. No accessories for uh, Venom yet. I know. Now, Birdie did tell me oh. that uh, the topper for Venom. Uh, be on the lookout. Really? Okay. Be on the lookout. Okay. That's going to help sell some games. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Dwight Sullivan likes flexing on his toppers. Yeah. He brought Mandalorian okay. holographic that's topper. Yeah, that's an amazing topper. Uh, Venom's not just going to be that's plastic. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, and then uh, the, the, the comeback award mm -hmm. is James Bond. The code has really turned oh, around man. on James Bond. Well, I'm telling you what, Bond is one of my and favorite we called games. It. Yeah. We knew that would happen. I, I hate this, and I just don't want to spend the money on it, but I, I told you, like, <laughs> there's one LE that I've always wanted, and it's Star Trek LE. That's probably one of the I got, only I just LEs. got one. Oh, nice. Yeah, I would freaking, I would probably buy a James Bond LE what? if the it's price was a little crazy. cheaper, because it's so pretty, and I just, Dude, that, that game has floored me. You've been I love that game. that game. And I'm, I'm okay with the A theme. lot of people like, have Yeah, I'm not like, a main, like, not giant Bond fan, or that era Bond. I think it's a good theme. But like, I like it enough that I love the game so much mm. that like, uh, and it's just so pretty. That teal yeah, works. It does, it's that so gorgeous. Works. It kind of gets me, gets me a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it gets me. So I don't know what's, uh, I don't know what's in store really for 2024 yet. We're just jumping into it. But that was your review of 2023. It was a hell of a year. I think yeah. it was a better year than 2022. Yeah. And if the rumors are true about 2024. Truly with everything that came out. Bringing Stranger Things back, all this other stuff. Uh, yeah. If these people could see what we have seen, oh. that they will be seeing uh, in this year. Yeah, things we just can't talk and about. And what we've heard. Things we can't talk about. Oh, well, we could. We would just not be in this industry. <laughs> <laughs> we can go out of the bank if we want to, Greg. <laughs> well. Uh, that's right. That's all. Awesome. That's all. Awesome. All right. In the meantime, all you got to do is follow, like, and subscribe. Do it for us. Do it right now. You'll want to follow uh, all the social medias, all the YouTube, Enjoy. Facebook. Enjoy. 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 Like a little Mario. A little Greg. I'm a little Greggy. I'm a little Greggy. I'm a little Greggy. <laughs> follow, like, and subscribe to Flipping Out Pinball. Go buy yourself a pinball machine, too. We've talked about a lot of them here yes. in 2023. We've given designations on what's the best of this year. Stay away, maybe, from some of the worst. Mm. But uh, what the best is, go buy yourself a pinball machine or accessory today at flippingoutpinball.com. Or email me at Zach, Z-A-C-H, at flip, the letter N, outpinball.com. When you open up your game, if you have a little trouble, email Greg at greg at flippingoutpinball.com. <laughs> is your Elvira cat? Bye, bye, bye! Cow's not working. <laughs>
fix, fix, fix. Fix, fix, fix. <laughs> you hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle again. Yeah. Middle again. Yeah. You had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the alley and all again. I tried to cradle. Oh, did you see uh, the release on the trailer for Axel? For, uh, Axel Foley? Yeah. Oh, I that. did see that. <laughs> you remember we Talk did that like a whole thing. episode? Yeah. Yeah, that like, was so bad. You got healthy guys. Aqua! Aqua! Aqua Foley! Fucking love it. Sage. Sage. I fucking love it. Sage. It's not Surge. Sage. It sounds like a cleaning dish. <laughs> Uh, Bronson Pichu. Bronson, yeah. That's his name. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. They need that. They, He's coming back. I, yeah, but I want that as a game, a pinball machine. I would take, I would a thousand percent call. take a pinball machine. Hell yeah. Call. Like, I would, okay, oh my dokey, god. Okie dokie. The third, okay I, still like the, I still like the third I one. I do too. I love the Okie okay Shuffle. That is one of the few fucking franchises that even though the third one took that weird turn, it still wasn't, it's still amazing. Love it. That's one of the best. Like, trilogies ever. Whenever he's on that ride, he's like jumping yes. to save. Like, oh, so awesome, man. dude. I You're like, underneath fucking Wally World. Bum, 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 oh. Bum, bum, bum. And they're making the the counterfeit money. Yes. Yeah, that's right. The so Wally cool. Bucks yes. that were supposed to be, but they're like, God, yeah. it's actually so great. Good. Love it. Oh. And it still had uh, Judge Reinhold yeah. or whatever his name is. I hope this one's good. <laughs> I am so pumped about it. It won't be. No, but I'm it still pumped won't. about it. I think